Samsung is back in the game with Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all doing good. If you are guys who always want third party apps to work better on Android devices then we have a good news for you. Also, if you're watching movies on your phone, then even better update for you guys as well. In the past years, we always criticized Android devices not taking better photos with third party apps like Snapchat where they actually capture the screen instead of phone cameras. Due to that, the quality of an image and video is really bad compared to the Apple devices. A new leak came up that Samsung is working with Snapchat for optimizing of Snapchat on Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Use the full potential of Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra cameras. Taking selfies with 40 megapixel front camera will give you a pretty good details. Also, they are optimizing Instagram and TikTok as well. Let's see what kind of details we will see in Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Before moving on, if you like the content, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below what do you think about these updates. Moreover, we also see some good updates of cameras of Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Taking the picture over 32 megabytes with immense amount of details, this is most probably with 108 megapixel main lens, Samsung this time taking the mobile cameras to the next level. There are also some improvements in enhanced brightness of a picture with AI. There are in total 4 lenses on the back of Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. 108 megapixel main lens, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 10 megapixel optical telephoto with 3x zoom, and 10 megapixel 10x zoom. According to the IC Universe, Samsung Galaxy S22 lineup all will feature X axis linear motor, which will help in the better haptics of device. So, if you are a gamer and notice these small improvements, then you can count on this feature as well. Now, Netflix is also updating its supported processor list. Netflix didn't mention Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, but include its processor and supported devices to run HD streams on phone, which is the Exynos 2200, making it more smooth experience than before with 120Hz 2x dynamic AMOLED display. Let's see how well this will go. With that being said, if you came this far, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below what do you think about these updates. I'll see you next time. Till next time, peace out.